This is Ricardo Curry from the ACR Education Center uh, presenting a cardiac MRI case. Um, and this is a 17 years old female presenting with prior viral infection and mild abnormal echocardiogram. So we are uh, beginning with the assessment of the CINE images, short axis, four chamber view, three chamber view, and two chamber view. Beginning with the short axis, uh, let's assess global uh, and regional LV function. We can see that the left ventricular cavity is dilated. Uh, also, um, there is global mild LV dysfunction, particularly in the lateral wall of the left ventricle. We can see that there is a mild hypokinesis in the lateral wall compared to the other walls of the left ventricle. This is also appreciated in the mid-ventricular level at the level of the papillary muscles. There is a, a hypokinesis in this area as well. So definitely an abnormal left ventricle for a young uh, patient. So now if we look at the four chamber view, again the LV is dilated and regional wall motion abnormality, particularly in the lateral wall. There is also some signal heterogeneity uh, within the left ventricular myocardium. No evidence of a mitral or tricuspid uh, valve uh, regurgitation in the four chamber view. Now the three-chamber view, um, again some mild hypokinesis just confirming the findings from both the short axis and the four-chamber view. And in this case the two-chamber view appears normal. Uh, we see the inflow of the pulmonary vein which is a normal finding. Now, very important it will be the performance of the late hyperenhancement. This is the TI scout. We use the sequence to pick the correct inversion time, and we can see that there are significant abnormalities within the uh, LV. By assessing the short axis, this is a 3D delayed enhancement acquisition. We see this patchy delayed hyperenhancement, particularly in the subepicardial surface of the interlateral and the infralateral walls, as well as in the mid myocardium in the basal septum, basal and mid septum. There is a sparing of the subendocardial, and this is a very typical pattern for acute myocarditis by delayed enhancement MRI. So sparing of the subendocardial and affecting mainly the subepicardial and the basal septum mid myocardium. The T-weighted images. Uh, we don't see areas of increased signal, so there is no myocardial edema, and these lesions are likely not acute. Um, and the two-chamber view, we again confirm the subepicardial pattern of these areas of the late hyperenhancement. So this is a case of a young patient with prior viral infection with a final diagnosis of acute myocarditis uh, by MRI extensive involvement of the myocardium.